the next yard to speed disc. It's kind of a gray, gloomy type of don't want to work outside day. So I'll spend it on the seat of a tractor. I am going past one of my bee yards. Strips have been pulled and they've been oxalic acided topped up with feed looks like it's about done yeah they're done boy oh boy should i give them some more holy christ they're heavy probably good but the reason why i say should i give them some more I don't have a hive tool with me here, so I don't know if I'll be able to just have this little piece of iron. Ugh. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Because I have boxes of bees. Boy, they tagged me like five times there. I guess I'll stay out. I won't crack anymore. So looking good. And if we get prolonged nice weather, I might just get some more syrup on them. <clears throat> I've been thinking about bringing these colonies in just a little bit early. We're middle of the month now. But I want to get more feed on them. So I think I might just pull back the reins on my, my internal conversation and make sure that I get everything done that I need to get done here. And that I can't find a big enough cooling unit to build to actually do what I want to do. But it might not be any different anyways, because if we keep getting this kind of coolish, overcast, block cut type weather, they're not flying anyways. That's basically the point. So it's good, they're getting set up. They're making that switch. Got my youngest daughter mowing corn stover, keeping her busy for the afternoon. And I just happened to be beside one of my nuke yards. I thought I'd poke in. Look at the pollen coming in. Holy moly. So this is a combination of Italian nukes and my BCBs. Carry has been through, strips are pulled. 
pails are topped up. Not many on the pail. I think we're pretty much done with feed. We have as much as we can get into these boxes as possible. Just as that last bit of brood emerges, we're backfilling that right up. The reason being is Oh, these are stuck down. Boxes of bees. Whoa. Okay, girls. I won't do any more of that. Whew. We are getting just a beautiful cleansing flight. Look at the bee flight. Absolutely ideal. Can set them up for winter. Bringing in just drags of that pollen. Topping up every last little bit of syrup we can get in these boxes. Just a very easy day. These BCBs were probably, I think they're one of my best decisions I made all summer. With all the chaos and turmoil and depression on the farm, on the honey farm, it just allowed Sandy and I to jump in a truck and drive across the country getting the hell away from the farm, meeting up some, with some bee friends and bringing back some quality stock. So something, sometimes that's what I do. When there's issues, when there's problems, I just shake things up a little bit and see where things settle out and just keep pounding the basics and things will eventually come around you just got to get stuck out of that rut somehow. Just kind of pull yourself out. And taking that trip out to BC was got, got me out of that rut. My wife and I had an excellent road trip. I couldn't do anything. I was still, I justified it because I was still working. Driving out there, driving back. So I was picking up bees. So it wasn't like I was on a holiday where my body would punish me for not working. I was still working. We drove long hours. We shook some bees into some packages. We did a little bit of sightseeing because we couldn't do anything else. Took in my bee friend's apiary, he toured me around. That was quite a treat. Just a break in pace. Brought them back and they just about made me a monster honey crop. If we didn't dry out, just the timing was off by two weeks. Could have got these bees two weeks earlier or you know if we could have just had a rain when we needed one in July there but it is what it is these bees are going into winter in absolute fantastic shape look at the pollen coming in not just a little bit but gobs of pollen what can I say they will be using that dripping with bees. 